Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. Okay, your card literally just flew out there. I've got Cougar. Confidence be bold and take charge now there's definitely an energy here that there may be an opportunity or a signal or something that requires you to be bold and take charge okay what do we have for aquarius please angels spirits guides message for our lovely aquarians thank you for the week message for Aquarius thank you yeah you know I was feeling this energy distractions control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused now it might well be that's what you need to take control of any distractions it's almost kind of like no I'm not going to let that distract me I'm not going to let that you know pull me off my focus here I'm going to regroup you know it's that kind of energy um yeah, but definitely an energy of taking charge of something here. So I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius. First card, as you know by now, is the issue or challenge for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is your future outcome. Then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aquarius, please. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. Okay, we have two cards. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. I mean, I like the, I like these energies in the challenge position uh, because there's a kind of energy of releasing from this. But my goodness, those are tough energies. We have the Tower and the Ten of Swords. Aquarian energy, Six of Swords. Nice. That's the advice from Spirit. And your future outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So, message for Aquarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Aquarius. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aquarius? Okay. Page of Wands yeah six of pentacles aquarius with the six of swords and we have yeah seven of swords with the two of two of pentacles here bottom of the deck <laughs> yeah the empress the empress absolutely beautiful I like the Aquarian energy that's coming out in the more positive areas because this is tough. I mean, this is tough energy. But it's an energy that you can take control of now and take charge of, which is really positive. You know, the, the tower, we know the tower is about change, life-changing events. can be the pandemic for some of you. It's not limited to that, you know, it can be to do with the towers is, is the destruction of the old, the tearing down of the old in order to align you to a path of where you need to be. And even though it has been painful, I mean, the Ten of Swords can be a card of betrayal, hurt, wounds, loss, crisis, call it what you will. It's, oh, it is, it's, it, you have the opportunity to release those swords now. It's a 10, it's a completion. Those swords are being released. And that's why I like it in the challenge position. Um, because this energy is almost kind of like you have an opportunity to take charge and realign yourself to where you need to be. So it's, it's a tough energy. I mean, towers can be, you know, big, big changes in terms of money career can be relationships can be f you know friendships family a uh, home property a uh, health you know all of those kind of energies but 
It is the universe acting with love to align you to where you need to be. And this is absolutely you aligning. So I really like this energy for that reason. Page of Wands can be a card of good news. Can be a card of good news to do with an opportunity. And that might well be a release, a reason why you can release now this tower because the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. It is also a free spirit energy. So I'm definitely getting this energy. I am I am ready to embrace and to take action towards new possibilities because the page holds the wand of power, the wand of potential, the wand of growth and success. So I definitely get this energy of you're ready to take action now, which is definitely resonating with this card here. But again, the page of wands can be good news to do with some kind of opportunity, which is how, which is how, it's not limited to an opportunity. It can just be some good news to do with something that's connected to your heart and soul, uh, something that you absolutely want to take action towards, the messengers. So yeah, definite energy here, Aquarius, of just allowing yourself to release now. Because, you know, it has been tough. But the universe is saying it's your time to receive. You may have struggled in terms of money, career, finances. It might well be you've been asking people for handouts, charity. Um, it can be that kind of energy here. But it feels like you're ready to put that difficulty behind you. And Spirit is saying, okay, you're in a period of transition, but you're releasing from the stress, the worry, the uncertainty um, that this energy has caused you. And you're going, you're finding the right direction towards better times, towards calmer waters, releasing from the troubles, detaching from them, putting them behind you and moving towards this new world energy. Now, again, there may well be some news or information or conversation coming in that is allowing you to do that. There is, you know, communication energies here. Um, and again, tying in with this page of wands, there could be some communication that you're getting that is allowing you to release from this Ten of Swords Tower energy, whatever it meant for you. It feels monetarily orientated. Um, it feels to do with money, career, finances. Because there's definitely an energy of, of not having enough. This tower caused a big change, crisis even. It can involve betrayal. You know, we can be betrayed in work, we can be betrayed in home, you know, home life. You might not have seen it coming. But my goodness, you are ready to take charge of it now. You are ready to take the first steps and go for what you want bring new growth into your life now. And the message here with the Six of Swords is, I mean, there could have been healing, but there's definitely an energy of you are finding the right direction and the worst will soon be behind you. And that is what Spirit is saying. You are absolutely going in the right direction here, Aquarius. This deception energy, you know, is carrying through. Um, yeah, Seven of Swords, dealing with deception or lack of truth, um, yeah, I mean, Seven of Swords can be betrayal, I mean, there's betrayal energies in here, um, someone not being what they seem to be, I mean, we have the thief, you know, the covert, the covertness of the Seven of Swords. You might have been dealing with this because this Two of, of, of Pentacles, Aquarius, is an energy of prioritizing, adapting, just trying to get balance back, maybe in terms of money, career, finances, maybe in terms of, of just you know, juggling things, uh, focusing your priorities in order to get back on track from whatever this Seven of Swords meant to you. It feels in this energy, you know, the Seven of Swords. It, 
if there's a feeling that somebody is getting away with something, I, I, you know, or somebody wanting to get away with it, you know, you've been dealing with somebody. I'm getting this energy here of uh, somebody acting slyly and getting away with something. And it's left you at a disadvantage, it feels financially, money, career, finances, to the point where you've had to just juggle to bring growth and and growth and success it back into your life and the two of pentacles you know i love this energy here aquarius because it's somebody who is focusing prioritizing they have a lot on their plate but they juggle you generally see them juggling and dancing at the same time in rider weight this is morgan greer um and it's a message that even though it seems a lot to deal with this is within your practical capabilities to deal with you have more than enough capability to deal with something, even though it feels a little bit unruly and difficult to handle and manage. You're managing it just fine, and that's what Spirit is telling you. So any element of... of also, if it's not betrayal, if there's any element of self-sabotage here, um, because this can be where we can be distracted, we can focus on the negative. Things can hold ourselves back. Um, you know, uh, negative thinking. It, it can be that kind of energy, Aquarius, of self-sabotage. So, you know, it is Aquarian energy as well. So just look out for that if you're holding yourself back. If there's some kind of focus on what this is, because this is big energy that has been tough to deal with. But it's going to be soon. It feels like Spirit is saying it's going to be behind you soon. I like the way this card is moving away from this. And you're adapting. You're doing the right things. It feels overwhelming, but you are well, it's well within your capability to absolutely take charge and be bold with this energy. Uh, because the Empress is new abundance. She is a sign of new abundance. Now, she's Venus in Taurus. She's very, very good in terms of money, career, finances, the birth of something new. She is always, um, she can be also about the birth of something new in terms of love, romance, relationships. She rules both money and love. Um, but there is definitely an energy with this Taurus energy, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. Now is the time to plant new seeds for real growth. I feel for some of you, I mean, there could be some news or message or information coming your way that is just allowing you to, to finally head in the right direction and put challenge behind you. The message is focus on what you do well, on the new vision, on where you need to go and don't let anything distract you. That is that Six of Swords energy. Because, you know, the Empress is a sign of abundance. She's a nurturing energy. She is somebody who is about where you've experienced lack. She is somebody who doesn't lack for anything. She, she symbolizes bounty, uh, having enough, um, being fulfilled in every level, inter including mat the material sense. So, you know, there's definitely an energy of new bountifulness coming your way with the Empress. And now is the time to adapt. Um, it feels for some of you, tune out distractions. You will be able to put a difficult situation behind you, Aquarius. And, you know, you're doing all the right things if you prioritize and focus on the right things at hand. Definitely don't hold yourself back or allow yourself to focus on the negative, even though this was challenging. There could be some news here, information coming your way that is just allowing you to transition and move forward to something better, calmer waters, because there's definitely a sign, a sign of abundance, real abundance coming your way, um, blossoming abundance with the Empress. Yeah, the Six of Swords is you're not quite there yet but you're absolutely heading in the right direction. And I like the way that this is heading toward this. So love the energy, love the energy Aquarius. I'm gonna pull a final message for you. Yeah, you know, there could have been some loss here. Uh, some, you know, could be job losses or something along those lines, because, you know, this is, it feels like this solitude energy 
it, it feels like you were left to deal with it. You were you were left to grapple with this situation and deal with it. Um, it's definitely a personal journey that you've gone through, whatever your circumstances. But, you know, this page of, of wands, and I love the page of wands because it's exciting energy, is all about limitless potential being around you. And that's what the Empress is saying. She's saying there's such potential, there's such, this is the time, the soil is ready, the seeds are ready to be planted, the weather is right, the conditions are perfect for real growth and abundance. So it's time to plant new seeds because there is a birth of something new coming your way. Um, like I said, can be communication, messages, news, to do with opportunity as well, this. But this is, there's such potential around you now. Free yourself from what you don't need to be associated with. And that is that energy, you know. Know what you're capable of on your own. And that's what I'm getting with this solitude energy. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Very, very exciting, potent reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Aquarius, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.